I watched, like I said, I watched, just watched him turned in his chair. I love that he's got Pokeballs on his shelf, too. That's amazing. Oh, dude, he's big in Pokemon. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome, dude. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Welcome back to 307 Reacts, and today we are reacting to Dirty 30 by uh, Ryan Upchurch. And he just uploaded this yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay, mm. so uh, Chris is Chris actually got sucked into watching this whole thing, so, yeah. he, so he's seen it, but I saw the first few seconds mm. of this where he just kind of was like turning around talking about something. I was in a bar when I was watching it, so I couldn't hear anything, but... Yeah. Uh, so I don't have any so, idea yeah, what's going on. He, uh, is he turning 30? He's turning 30. Ah. Yeah, very soon. I, don't, I didn't know he was so. under 30 years old. I oh, really, yeah. I really didn't know. Yeah. I mean. He, uh, I mean, he really got famous and started really, like, get, getting what was coming to him at around 25. Okay. Okay. So he's uh, he's been doing pretty good. So I'm interested to know if he's, like, talking about planning a party or something or just well, the it's, thing uh, itself. I, I mean, I know that you know. I I, I just, I know, um, I, and you know, his last video he hold uploaded up, that was up, like this. Yeah, shed some light on the subject, bro. There we go. Oh, Sorry, guys, yeah. I had to get had to get Boosh in the frame here. Um, but he was talking like he uh, his last video he uploaded. He was talking about don't come to my house. You know, we we said right. we weren't going to cover that because that's his personal yep. shit. Whatever. I'm not a zoo animal or whatever. Yeah, that yeah, was. yeah. yeah. So, um. You know, I was kind of curious to see what this one was going to be about. And it's, you know, him just basically saying this is where I'm at in my life right now. Okay. And so it's oh, kind of cool. it's kind of cool because this directly affects his music and the way uh, he affects the scene. Gotcha. And so I was like, you know what, we should cover this and watch yeah, it. Yeah, why not? Okay, well, this is a, about a 10-minute video that, that Ryan did. So our reaction mm -hmm. is going to be about two and a half minutes long. So, yeah. Because <laughs> apparently that's, uh, that's regulations on YouTube now, I guess, when you're a reaction yeah. channel. So yeah. here we go. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Same. I got this. Us. That's us. I fucking, I got this. Ah! <laughs> Bill, stop getting hung on my cow rug. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> That's a nice setup. That is a, yeah, pretty, pretty legit setup. Smells perfect just like that. <laughs> a lot of you have been wondering where I've been. I've been wondering the same thing. <laughs> Shit. I've been living this fast lifestyle for like five or six years. Going fast for five or six years is a whole lot of fast. Yeah. You know, it seems like yesterday Vine was brand new. And nope, I was like, no oh, shit. look at this fucking app you can make videos. Then I blink my eye and run across a few stages and take a few drugs. And here I am, 30 <laughs> fucking years old. He <laughs> drugs. <laughs> I like that. I like that delivery, man. That's he's like, great. it's like I thought Vine had just come out like yesterday, and then all yeah. this. He's like, I fucking blink and take run across a few stages, do a couple of drugs, and then holy shit, what the hell <laughs> yeah. is going on? Yeah, I like that, man, because that's that's totally relative to my life too. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like you know, sometimes I, I talk about memories, and and I'm like, yeah, I think that was just like last year or something like that. And I'll be talking to somebody, and they're like, dude, that was four years ago. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that that was like the city of the week. You're like, I don't know, it was like a year or two ago. I was like, bro, that was like 2017. 20, 2017. Like, you're, yeah. you're like, do you know what year it is? I'm like, I guess not. I, I guess fuck, not, man. Fuck I'm it. just out here floating along. <laughs> yeah. Old. God dang. <laughs> Shit, bro. It seems like just yesterday Rolling Stone came out and my album Cheetah County, bro. And here we are, fucking, I don't even know how many albums I got now. Two motherfucking many. I found one under my bed the other day. <laughs> Shoo-wee! You smell that! Bro, in two more years, I will have had been around for a decade, bro. It's a long time, a whole ass decade. Man. <laughs> no more 20s for me in nine days. No, sir. I'm going to be dirty 30. <laughs> Bro, I busted no, my sir. ass over these years, dude. Facts. Started out in a junky ass trailer, me and my whole family, getting evicted by some bitch who was like, I'm gonna bring a chainsaw over there. What good? <laughs> bring your blue Buick Le Mans over here with your goddamn chainsaw, you molly wampus. <laughs> oh no. Um, oh no, I'm gonna have to start calling people yeah, molly wampus, dude. Molly wampus? <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, and Buick LeSable, right? That's your favorite vehicle. Uh, the, yeah, well, a, a LeSabre, like, I, LeSabre, I just, LeSabre, whatever, yeah. Those What's old there? Buicks, dude, fuck those cars. Yeah, it's your favorite car, right? Yeah, they <laughs> leak from the intake all the time. Fuck, you seal them up five days later, they're leaking They're just again, doing it like, again. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Right, back, back. Le Mans over here. Oh, Buick Le Mans, my bad. chainsaw, yeah. you molly wampus. <laughs> I done started riots. I've started fucking fights with biker gangs. 
I've had I've had people, my fans catch venues on fire. Yep. I've been on the news mm-hmm. multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've done a lot of shit as a 29 year old. Uh, I've seen a lot of shit. I've been a lot of places. But as I go to all these places, I've never really seen anything. You know, I feel like mm. I've been everywhere and haven't seen shit. I feel like that's a yeah. I feel like that's a real thing when you're in, when you're at that level musically. Mm-hmm. Um, now I don't have any actual experience with it, but I would assume that mm-hmm. like when you're in that position, you go to places and you don't you don't have time to do anything. You get yeah. there, you go to the venue, it's you work. hang you hang out at the venue the whole mm-hmm. time. You you do the show and then you have like maybe you know a night or something of free time. And it's mm-hmm. like some of these cities. I mean, you can't you can't do Dallas in a night. You know, like oh, you no. can't. It's, yeah. it's impossible. So yeah. it's like. Yeah, I, 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 I can understand where he's coming from with that. Mm-hmm. Like, that totally makes sense. He's like, I've been everywhere, but I haven't seen shit. Yeah. I've seen no, a bunch like, of stages and fields, and that's about it. And, you know, that was something I was talking to Jason about. Jason's like, dude, are you, like, so you're like, you're, you're legit about building this blue truck. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, dude. He's like, why? I'm like, bro, I have spent the last seven years working on everybody else's car, right? I was like, you know, I, I know a lot of shit. I built Subarus. I built Camaros. Mm-hmm. I built BMWs. Like, you know, I, I've done a lot of work to a lot of other people's project cars and got to watch their dreams come true of having a fun car to drive. But I've never had a project car of my own. Never been able to do it on your own. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I had a motorcycle, but that was like three months. You know, that was a quick and easy, you know, flip, flip it, whatever. Right. But like. You know, I spent so much time working that I never actually got to enjoy something on my own. Mm-hmm. Doing and the work for like, yourself. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a real thing, man. For sure, like, for sure. Totally relatable. Let's back so. it up. All right. There, there we go. You know, I feel like I've been everywhere and haven't seen shit. <laughs> and mm-hmm. it ain't that I'm getting, like, burnt out on YouTube or nothing like that. I fucking love it. Hell, I've been off social media for, like, I've been off social media for, like, a week. Mm-hmm. I ain't posted on Instagram in, like, six days. It's just because I need to just fucking to decompress. Yeah. Fair okay? enough. Like, mm. I'm sick of working on my birthday. Mm. You know? I'm sick of not being able to go to, like, Fourth of July rides or, like, Rod Run. And I think it's time to just treat myself to some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you worked hard, man. It ain't that I'm, like, bitching or I regret anything. Like, I love what I've done, but... Man, music, 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 music for so long has taken up so much of my time. Like, I haven't been able to do YouTube videos like I used to in like two years because of touring and music, touring and music, touring and music. And I ain't been able to shoot as many videos because touring, 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 touring. Mm-hmm. I ain't been able to go on vacation or anything because touring, 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 touring. Again, another another misconception that I think uh, people from mm-hmm. the outside do. Well, you're on tour all the time. That's basically just a big vacation. It's like, no. <laughs> no. It's more work than being at home most of the time because yeah. you have to be out there and present. You have to represent yourself and, yeah. like, you have to grind, man. Yeah. So, yeah, and like you said, you're – you're at the venue all day, every day, mm-hmm. and I mean, you you don't get time to do anything outside of it. Your producers and all that shit are like constantly yeah. on your shit. Like, stay over here, do this, do this, and mm-hmm. that. You know, like keeping you in line. You, you have yeah, to. Yeah, do on your a sound very, check, running your merch, very tight like, schedule. Yeah. Like, dude, in 16 hours, we got to be another 500 miles down the road. You know, yeah. you still have to play a show, and we have to mm-hmm. get and do the thing, and then we have to be there by this time tomorrow yeah, for sound check, check. Check in at the hotel here in about 10 hours. I like, can only imagine after, yeah. like he said, what f- he's coming up on 10 years. You know, so mm-hmm. he's probably been doing that for a good half of that at least you know yeah. like pretty consistently so i can mm. only imagine after that amount of time yeah man it gets pretty wearing like yeah my band went on tour for a few weeks and by the end of that shit i was like okay let's go home yeah. i want to go home <laughs> yeah so i can only imagine man like it's got to be crazy oh yeah and another thing i'm gonna start moving different because the past like few times i've been on vacation my stupid ass be like hey i'm chilling down here in fucking california or wherever <laughs> the fuck i'm at oh yeah and it Everyone comes to see you, it's man. It's kind of just dumb. Like if you're going on vacation, you just don't you don't need to do that. Yeah. You need to separate mm-hmm. social media from personal time, mm-hmm. and that is something that I ha- have not known how to do. Yeah, I, I've I've sucked at that. Relationships <laughs> over the year, mm-hmm. we all know oh, I shit. fucking sucked at relationships <laughs> over the years. But I'm finally in a good one. With yeah, somebody I went to high school with, and I'm digging it. Give me the shovel, fucking. That was a horrible joke, <laughs> and I don't know if it's age or if it's 
if it's the years of going fast and all that shit, I don't know what it is, but I just, I don't give a fuck in a good way now. Mm -hmm. It's not even like a, oh, I don't, I don't fucking care. It's more like a, yeah, it'd be all right. And yeah. I've seen a lot Straight of people up. lately be like, oh, don't, you must be having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm having a, a midlife easement. <laughs> I like you that. Know? Like, I've helped a lot of people over the years, bro. And I've never helped myself. I've just let my brain cook and fry the whole time. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, I am kind of crazy in like a in like a hermit crab kind of way. <laughs> but not to the point where I'm like self-destructive, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, uh... It's not good when you get to that point. So you can't let yourself get to that point. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what my personality. I mean, pfft, personality. I don't know what my mindset has done, but I guess, I guess the overload of the fast living and the stress and the and and the and the misfortunate events. I think it just kind of imploded my brain and like started it over, or something. That's at mm. least what I feel like. Yeah. Ryan, that's called turning 30, bud. <laughs> that's just called maturing, I think, is what that is. Like, you just get to it. Like he said, you get to a point mm. where you're like, you're not, it's not so much of this like, oh, fuck you, this thing. It's more just like a, all right. Well, like, well that shit happened. I, I guess, guess we'll keep going. I guess that happened. <laughs> you know, that's just kind of part of it. Like, you don't have the time or the energy to waste on dumb shit anymore. Yeah. I think that's what he's getting at is like, man, I just don't have time to yeah. be so fucking dramatic about dumb shit anymore. Like yeah. I just, I need to just, I mean, shit, dude, I'm 26 and I hit that point two years ago. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> like like it's, you just, you, you hit that line where you're just like, you know what, man, I'm yeah. wasting way too much energy on dumb shit. Like yeah. I just need to pull back. And sometimes, like you said, it takes a vacation or something. That's why I'm going on vacation. Mm -hmm. Fuck dude. I'm ready. Like I want to yeah. go, man. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you need it. Sometimes you just got to step back for a little uh, bit and just I'm taking my vacation it. in November going to SEMA. Yep. Oh, yeah. yep. We're still a long ways <laughs> away from that, but that's oh, yeah. that is like the sickest vacation to look forward oh, to. Dude, that's going to be real. the yeah. craziest fucking yeah. thing ever, dude. So, I'm so excited, dude. I'm I'm hoping to meet roadkill guys and all those. That's like, going to be fucking insane. legit, dude. We're definitely going to send you down there with a camera and like a microphone and like you're going to have to oh, yeah, do I'm, all the like, stuff. So Check out my Instagram. It's it's down below. When I go to see him, I'm going to be posting tons of pictures. All of over the place. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Here we go. Which is a good thing for the people who watch my videos because a lot of the times you see YouTubers go forever and ever and they like don't reinvent themselves mm -hmm. because they haven't like reached that stage of their life because they're still surrounded by a bunch of people they don't want to be surrounded by. Boom. So they Facts. get on YouTube and make a bunch of <laughs> I'm okay, I'm I'm in denial, but I'm okay <laughs> type yeah. videos. And that's not how you make content and I'm guilty of doing that exact thing. You want good content, you got to go live and live the content to give mm -hmm. it to people. Hell yeah. You know? Like I, I've seen a lot of like reaction channels that I like watching lately, getting on YouTube and telling everybody, yo, I can't take it no more. I got to get off this that, and the other. That's cool. Just, but instead of making that video, you could have just gone, went and had your alone time yep. and yeah. come back. Yeah. Because Straight up. there are, believe it or not, there are people out there that watch your shit because it really mm. does make them feel better. Yeah. And if you don't feel good, then you can't make anybody else feel better because you know, Hell you yeah. just only you're like complaining. And it's, I, it's not like I, if you're doing that, no, it's not it's genuine. Facts. It's it's yeah. totally not genuine. If you're not having a good time doing it, no one's gonna have a good time with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's like that's yeah. I mean that's fundamentals of life, man. I mean I mean there's some days after work that I come in here to record and I'm like fuck. Dude, Little like, drained, definitely. Just not feeling it today. And it's not that I don't enjoy doing a reaction or watching a video or whatever. In fact, I really look forward to it after a long day. Yeah, for sure. But it's one of those things where I'm like, fuck, dude, I need to come in with some energy. Uh -huh. I need to like, you know. And I, you don't want to fake any of that shit. Yeah, you know, sometimes yeah, you, don't sometimes you come it, in like, and it's like, man, I'm just kind of tired. But, you yeah. know, I don't want to let you guys down or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So I still have to try and yeah. be uppity or whatever mm -hmm. it is. But I totally feel that, you yeah. know. Some days it's just and, like, hey, yeah. And, and, you know, I'm sure I'm sure there's going to be a day here on this channel at some point in time that we're just, you know, going to make a short post like, hey. We're going to take a week off or we're going to take a couple something, days off. Something. And then, you know, we just aren't going to post anything there uh, on YouTube or whatever. But, like, 
that's just everybody needs that time. Everybody yeah, needs a vacation. At some point, everybody yeah. needs. And and don't get us wrong, we're not know. complaining about anything right now. Like we oh, we no, enjoy like, the grind, man. We post every day, and, and oh, we're yeah. having a great time doing it. So I, I'm, dude, I'm all about the grind. Yeah, like, I'm, my whole life. I was just talking <laughs> to a grind. couple buddies yesterday about it and about the channel. They were asking how we were doing, and I was like, oh yeah, we just we just posted our hundredth episode yesterday, and like, what? and they both were just like, are you fucking serious? And I was like, yeah, man, yeah. hundred episodes in like four months or something yeah. like that. So yeah. we out here grinding. Yeah, so. <laughs> we, we love this shit. Let's finish uh, it out. But like, yeah, it, every everybody needs their time. You gotta so, have it. You gotta have some personal time. Because, yeah. you know, you just on here like complaining, and mm. I, like I said, I've been guilty of just getting on here complaining, bro. And that ain't content. At least I don't think it is. I think there's better shit to do. Yeah. Like one thing I'm thinking about doing is doing travel vlogs. You go you're going and doing fun shit. I'd having like three that. things, three watched, places, and like having a poll done, and having people choose where we go, and just winging it. That'd be sick. Just going and fucking that would winging be cool. it. Yeah. Because not everybody can travel. I think it'd be cool if y'all picked where the fuck me and Bethany went. That's hard, bro. <laughs> yeah. You get to choose where I go, like a fucking video game. That's fucking hard. I don't know. <laughs> just di different shit like that. You know what I mean? So yes, I am reinventing myself. Yes. I've been through some really bad times lately, but no matter bad or good, it only lasts for a little while. Yeah. Good times last for a little while, so you can have more good times and be anticip and anticipate the next good time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Bad times only happen for a little while to let you know that hey, only bad shit happens for a little while. Yeah. If you that's you know, real. That, that, that's real. That's real shit. Because like, you know, a lot of people look at uh, celebrities and stuff and go, oh, you know, they got such a good life. You know, they're blah 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 blah. It's like, you know, a, a lot of these celebrities protect themselves, like, within their gated communities or their giant house, mm -hmm. and they have a nice car, and, you know, they, they're real selective with the people they hang out, and they have a good life, but they're so protected that the bad things never really happen to them. Fair enough. And they get burnt out and depressed because they're like, well, what? there's nothing more good. Like, I've done everything good. There's nothing to look forward to. Essentially, and too I, much of a good thing is a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what and, he's saying. And, you know, like, life needs to be a balance of the good and bad. Mm -hmm. The bad sucks, but got, like he says, it only lasts for a little while. Well, and you got to have bad shit happen so that the good stuff is good stuff, like you're saying. Yeah. It's exactly what you're saying. I mean, you mm -hmm. can't have too much of a good thing, literally a good mm -hmm. thing. So, yeah, yeah man, you got... Sometimes you got to fucking get sand in your teeth, you know, and like mm -hmm. eat a hot dog with some grit in it or whatever. Like it's going to fuck. <laughs> it's going to happen, you know, like it's just fucking going to happen, dude. Just put some dirt on it. Just fucking, fucking, you know, you know what, man? Just uh, drink another beer and like we'll be fine. And yeah. We'll be yeah. fine. So. For a little while to let you know that, hey, only bad shit happens for a little while. Yeah. If you let it happen, mm -hmm. we're all going to have bad shit happen to us, but we're also all going to have good shit happen to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Yeah. This is me just checking in. I'm Gucci. I'm not on <laughs> drugs. I'm not having a big life crisis. <laughs> just been off social media. Because I'm turning 30, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to go somewhere and fucking smoke some smell good. Like Colorado or California. Anyone I know, Franklin. So, this is non-stress church, which you guys have not seen in a very long time. And I just wanted to stop in and tell y'all that I care about y'all. I love y'all a lot. I'm very grateful for you guys to be my viewers and be subscribed to my stuff. Uh, I'm very grateful for my music listeners. Um, <laughs> that's racist! But that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, that was amazing. Uh, <laughs> I loved his thought process on that. You yeah. could see him turn around and go, "All right, what, what, what do fuck? I say here?" That's yeah. racist. <laughs> yeah, I am visibly triggered right now. Go ahead and just insert uh, that clip right. Should there. I do it? Yeah, okay, yeah. I did it. <laughs> uh, I hope y'all have a good rest of y'all's day. If y'all's life is going in the wrong direction, bro, pump the brakes, fucking. Yeah. Rip the e-brake. And when it turns 180, stomp it, boy. Yeah. Katow, fucking. Oh, yeah. Ain't said that in a while. <laughs> Uh, that was some good shit. That's good, man. That's yeah. good. I, and honestly, I like I like that up church. You know, I mm -hmm. like him not coming on and just like you know. Don't get me wrong. 
I, I feel where he's coming from with like the people coming up to his house and shit. Oh, and, like yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. you don't do that shit. That's that, just that's real shit. Yeah. Like you don't do that kind of shit. So but I, I get where he's coming from there, but I do like that he comes back and he's like, you know what, man? I just need to take a step back for a little while and just relax. Mm-hmm. I know I've been guilty of coming on here and just being a complaining little bitch about some stuff or whatever. Uh mm-hmm. but like, you know, I want to just kind of start not doing that. Like yeah. and honestly, that would be way down to watch some of his travel blogs. I bet they're fucking hilarious. Oh yeah. I, I think I bet he does some way funny shit. Oh dude, it, it was really fun, you know, when he traveled to uh, I think he was in Miami or some shit and uh, he was posting on his Instagram he's like yeah we're hanging out you know like he was saying he's like I, I gotta quit doing that yeah but he's like yeah, I was hanging out he's like yeah dude I ran into these skins I got some jet skis and shit we riding jet skis on the ocean <laughs> hell like, yeah they got a video of him just fucking eating it hard <laughs> dude on that jet ski shit was hilarious hell yeah dude but uh, yeah that was good man I like yeah. that I like that I don't know if like I, I don't think our talking things have a hat rating do they we, we decided to kind of nah, not I, do that I, I mean I, I, I'd still give it five out of five backwards hat everything he said is Advice. True and relevant and it's great advice. advice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he said if your life's going in the wrong direction, rip that e brake and stomp her the other direction. Yeah, just, and then um, yeah, gas it the other way, man. And, and, you know, that's something that I've been talking about with some people recently where it's like, dude, you know, you see your life's going the wrong direction, but yet you don't You're change not doing anything. anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just keep and going then that you way. You just sit there in your shit and going, oh, uh-huh. this sucks. I don't it's know like, what to well, do. Like, blah, 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 blah. So you got to make changes, man. Yeah. Like and and that, it's a grind. Like when that Subaru keeps giving you shit, you just fucking sell it. Yeah. And you start working on your Camaro instead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and post up a picture of that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Uh, if you guys like this episode, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We don't really give a shit. It is what it yeah. is. You got to fucking rip the e brake on that subscribe button, but, you know, do a burnout with it. Like, leave yeah. scar marks on it, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Ring that notification bell, set it to all, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang for free 99 a month. That's, your, that's, uh, right. that's our offer to you. And uh, let us know what you guys want to see next. Yeah. We will see you guys next time. Katow! Oh, <laughs> oh! He changed it up. Pulled the old fucking e-brake. Pulled the old up, church. The old e-brake 180 on my ass.